part of this is, you know, you've got to get your hand dirty. Yeah, of course, yeah. Marinating meat, making dressings, sauces and baking are all crucial things to prepare in advance of a busy service. And it's just shaking off the excess. Yep. But deep frying chicken wings eight hours in advance of their first booking. That can't be right. Yep. Just so why do you cook them now? Because if you cook them off now and leave them to cool, when the order comes in, it's just a matter of picking out how many we need and they go back in and they come back up to a nice... And they don't go dry? No. Mm -mm, no. I'm beginning yeah, to suspect the good old home cooking isn't as wholesome as it could be. Mm, they smell good. Yeah, Most of it's coming from the freezer rather than the soul. Oh, so how many freezers have we got? Thirteen. Thirteen? Fuck me. By the time Brian turns up, there's not much left for him to do. So I mean, you can't really feel like you're head chef if you've got Sharita in the kitchen every morning cooking the food and you come in That's and just what I'm saying. Yeah, you know. send it. In the sense that you're not actually really cooking, you're just coming in and putting things together. Putting things together, yes. It's, it's kind of hard, yes. Have you lost motivation? Yes. So, if Sharita's head chef's gone off the boil, I'm hoping her remaining crew of part-timers have a bit more spunk. Heading up front of house is Lauren. She arrives 10 minutes late for the evening service. 20-year-old Aidy seems to be more committed to his glamorous day job. So why panel beating? Uh, I've got my mate. Just to finish at half four every day. Kitchen porter Gavin lives next door, but he appears to turn up when he feels like it. And Sharita's librarian husband, Phil, hotfoots it back from the day job no, to become basement yeah. barman and resident so DJ. <laughs> he looks like your washer-upper. No, no way! No, I have to know to wash he it does up, that yeah. as well. These and numerous other part-time staff are all members of Mama Sherry's big laid-back family. So when he's in the ship, in the middle of service, he slowed them down like fucking Michael Jackson. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> oh, fuck you <it>, now. <laughs> I hate to ruin a good party, but if you want to run a successful business, then the terms, laid-back and professional, just don't mix. It's not just about how good the food tastes, it's about how it fucking gets there as well. And that is crucial. I can't wait to see this team of jokers in action. All right, so we get going. They're hungry. Immediately, it's clear who's the mummer in this kitchen. I'm getting you a chili pepper because you ain't gonna. No, just the one. <laughs> Can I take the seeds out at least? Sharita talks to them like they're her children, and she's the only one cooking anything from fresh. I need to start cooking up these fajitas now. OK, Sharita, all of the second uh, party are in. All right, OK. Two potato skins, onion rings, cornbread, two pieces. Can I get some jambalaya heated up, please? For Brian and Aidy, it's just an elaborate heating and plating up exercise. Mountains of messy food, school dinner style. A D minus, must try harder. That's hot gravy. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> on hot turkey. Yep. Serves on cold plates. Yep. With cold salad. Yep. It's first. <laughs> What's he laughing at? So this is serious. This is a... You weren't going to break sweat there, were you? Okay. Oh, you were. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's about to kick off. When? There's twice as many staff as there need be. This should be an absolute breeze. But Sharita's yeah. killing herself, yeah. trying to do everything. We got everything in the basement, yeah? Everything's gone. Yeah, everything's gone. Paying two fully qualified chefs to dress and send a plate of nachos. Come on, that's a surefire way to break a business. Fucking hell, it's painful. Okay. Very, very painful. Right. Tonight, on several occasions, you're standing here, cooking away in a world of your own. Yeah. And these guys standing there, just almost playing with themselves mm -hmm. because they're waiting for something from you. If you are the head chef, yes. then you're going to have to start taking the reins. Yeah. Yeah. I want to try and get through it. A busy night without pissing your pants with laughter. Two hours, pure concentration, mm -hmm. without laughing. OK. And I bet you can't do it. I can do it. Are you fucking smiling already? <laughs> if there was ever a case of too many cooks, this is it. One of them will have to go.